area between two functions. In this topic, we explore the following ideas. How to calculate the area between two functions when the bounds are given. These are the x values. And how to calculate the area between two functions when the bounds are not given using intersection points. The graphic to the right illustrates an example of this. What is area between functions? Consider the shaded region in the graph to the right. We wish to calculate the area of this region. The upper function defining the region is f of x equals 2 plus x squared over 4. And the lower function is g of x equals 1 minus x squared over 4. The left boundary is given by x equals 0 and the right boundary is given by x equals 2. How can we calculate this area? Derivation of the area formula. The first step is to create a partition of the interval 0, 2. One such partition is shown to the right with 20 equal subintervals. Next, over each subinterval, create a vertical rectangle that touches the top and bottom curves respectively. In the graphic to the right, we see a typical rectangle. Calculate the area of each rectangle and add these areas. The area of a rectangle is equal to the width times height. Each width is delta x and each height is f of x sub i minus g of x sub i. As the number of subintervals increases, so does the accuracy of the estimate. The total area of the rectangles for a given partition can be represented by the Raymond sum. A is approximately equal to the summation as i goes from 1 to n of f of x sub i minus g of x sub i, all times delta x. By taking the limit as the number of rectangles approaches infinity, the actual area is realized. A equals the limit as n approaches infinity of the previous expression. The formula for area between functions. This gives the following formula a equals the definite integral from a to b of f of x minus g of x. In this formula, f of x defines the top curve and g of x defines the bottom curve. Example. Consider the area between the curves f of x equals x plus 1 and g of x equals x squared minus 1. In the graph, we can see that x plus 1 is the top curve and x squared minus 1 is the bottom curve. To calculate the limits of integration, first find the intersection points by setting the two functions equal to each other. This yields x equals negative 1 and x equals 2. The area is given by a equals the definite integral from negative 1 to 2 of x plus 1 minus x squared minus 1, which gives 9 halves. Consider the area shaded between the relations x equals y squared over 2 minus 2 and x equals 2 minus y squared over 2. The lower line is y equals negative 1 and the upper line is y equals 1. Since there is not a top function and a bottom function, the previous formula does not apply. 
a similar formula does apply with the words top and bottom replaced by right and left. A very similar derivation applies with horizontal rather than vertical rectangles. The area of each rectangle is given by f of y sub i minus g of y sub i all times delta y. And the final formula is the integral from c to d of f of y minus g of y. Here, f of y defines the right curve and g of y defines the left curve. The area of the region in the figure to the right can be calculated as follows. a equals the integral from negative 1 to 1 of 2 minus y squared over 2 minus y squared over 2 minus 2, that is, the right curve minus the left curve. Evaluating this integral yields 22 over 3 as an answer.